Good morning, and as uh, Monty Python famously said, now for something completely different. We're not going to be looking at networking, um, we're going to actually look at a little piece of software. It's a free microprocessor simulator for students. Now I found this by going to Google and typing Neil Bowers CPU simulator and clicking on the link which is uh, softwareforeducation.com. On this page we have a zip file and if we download the zip file, which I've downloaded to my desktop, let's have a little look, click on desktop and I've unzipped it so we've now got the CPU simulator folder. If we look inside the CPU simulator folder and you can see all the files that come with it. There's some really good stuff in here. There's not just the application but there's some sample programs and also some instructions that you can have a look at. Easiest thing to do with this is to actually sort it by type. If you sort it by type, the application, which is that SMS32V50, is right at the top of the file. And you see these other files that finish with the .asm extension. They are sample programs that you can use. And we'll run this one, 99 Snake ASM. So without further ado, we'll start the simulator up. Okay, um, you can actually make the font a little bit bigger if you wish to which we'll probably do just so it's easier to see um, by clicking on the enlarge font button there. Uh, we've got the snake maze, so if we open the snake maze up you can see the snake maze. The idea is to actually get the snake to navigate its way around the maze correctly all the way through to the other end. Well, we'll get it part of the way there and then it's up to you to work out how to get it the rest of the way. Uh, you can see at the top we've got four general purpose registers. If I hover over them you can see the general purpose registers all of them currently have zero in, in hexadecimal, zero, zero. Uh, in binary, of course, we've got eight bits, all set to zero, which in hexadecimal would be two hex digits, again set to zero. As we put our assembly language program into this source code editor, um, we will actually be moving values in and out of these registers and then outputting the values uh, to the snake maze. Okay, so let's load that... Uh, ASM program up. So file open and what we're looking for is 99 snake ASM. There it is. Okay. And there you see this is a sample program. Uh, we've got the semicolons which indicate comments. So the semicolons are being comments, they're not actually interpreted by the system. Um, first command start and what we're going to do is we're going to move into the AL register the hexadecimal value FF. FF of course is uh, actually 255 in decimal or 8 ones in binary. So you definitely want to make sure that you know how to do binary to hex conversion. FF is a special code and what it will do is it will put into the register and you'll see it come up on the snake maze at the bottom um, which is currently set to all zeros. You will actually see that set to all ones which resets the snake maze. So that's the first command. We'll move into ALFF special code to reset the snake and then we'll output the value in AL to 04. 04 sends it to the snake maze. And then we will move into AL 4F. Now 4 means down and 4 is the first hexadecimal uh, character so that's the first leftmost four binary bits. So we should see the value of 4 in the four leftmost binary bits and we should see the value of F, which of course is 15 in hexadecimal, in the four rightmost binary bits. But this command only moves it into the register. The next line down will output it to the snake maze. And once that command, that line there is run, only as soon as that line is run will we see the snake move down a small distance down the maze. Okay, so to run the commands, we go to step. And this brings up the RAM source editor, so you can see that at the moment we've already done the move into ALFF um, and we're now sitting on what have we got here. We've got instruction pointer 3, so number 3 here. We're on output to 4, so output to 4, which will move the contents of AL, which is FF, or 8 ones all in a row. So you should see 8 ones appear over here in the snake maze to the actual snake maze output. So let's do that and bang there you go. So now we're on instruction pointer 5 look at number 5 there, move. Why is that 5? It's 5 because in binary 
that rightmost least significant binary bit represents 1, the next one represents 2, the next one represents 4. So the only bits that are set to 1 are 1 and 4. And of course 1 and 4 makes 5. So this is why the instruction point is set to 5, which is the command move the contents of the AL. OK, so what we've done now is we've already run this line, we've outputted FF to the snake maze, which has reset it. And you can see FF, eight ones highlighted in yellow on the snake maze. We've done this command, but we haven't outputted it yet. Once we do this line, that will output 4F to the snake maze, which should make the snake move down a little. 4 is down, and F is 15, which means 15 well, distance units down. So let's run that one. OK, so there is the command, output to 4, and it won't do it until I hit step, and it moves away from there. Boom. OK. So there's the 1's digit, there's the 2's digit, and there's the 4's digit. Of course, the only digit that is highlighted as a 1 is the 4's digit. So we've hit the first hexadecimal character is 4, and the second hexadecimal, hexadecimal character is 1111, one, 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 which is effectively 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, which we can say out of 15. So we've now gone down 15 units, and we'll just carry on now. Step, step, and it will jump back to the start. Now obviously, that is nowhere near fast enough, uh, nowhere near far enough. So what we now need to do is we need to edit this. So we'll stop the program. We'll take that line, because we need to go down further. We'll just copy that line. And I'll just paste a few more in, see how far we need to go. It's going to be... Helps when you hit Control-V instead of Shift-V. It's going to be a little bit further down the screen, so... I would estimate... Well, that's going to be some way. I might have gone a bit too far here, but... We'll give it a test and see what it says. Step. OK, send the reset. Eight ones. FF. Move into the AL register 4F. Get ready to output the AL register 4F to the snake. So as soon as I run this, it will jump down one. Boom. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Ooh, this is close. Not quite far enough, I think. No, not quite far enough. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that looks like we've just about done it. OK, so we'll stop that. Now what do we need to do? Well, we need to actually move to the right now. now. How on earth do we move to the right? OK, so we need to put in a command that is not dissimilar to the previous command to move into the register the value that will move us to the right. So we'll copy the move command that moved us down, make a bit of space, and we'll paste it here. Now obviously we can't use 4F, because 4 is down, and F is 15 down. What we need to realise is that we put 1 in the first 4 bits, the first hexadecimal digit, to move right. So that needs to become no longer 4F, but 1F. Yeah, that sounds about right. 1F. 1. Always make sure you put your comments in, because otherwise you may forget what you've done, and anybody trying to read your program won't know what on earth you've done, or why it's working the way it does. So we're going to move to the AL register 1F. 1 means right, and F means 15. Now I somehow doubt that it's going to take one output to do this. Let's uh, copy that line, and put it down underneath. Let's just try two. We'll try two. So we'll output to the 0, 04, which is output into the maze. 1F. Now, I don't really need to change that. I could have left that. It's only a comment. But so as it makes actual sense, we're outputting 1F, not 4F. The commands are this line move to the AL register 1F, and then output the content of the AL register to the snake. They're the actual commands. Let's see what happens now. Right, step. Reset. Move, 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 move. Move. Oh, look at that. Oh, Kev. 
Fantastic. So now we're moving right. And obviously that's not quite far enough right. That said, we've got to be a bit careful here. Um, if I put another one in, we might actually move too far to the right. So let's have a little look. Okay, we'll add another one just for the hell of it. And see what that does. Step, 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 step. Just stepping through the command. Ooh, that looks like that's a bit too far. Okay. Now we could be crafty here at this point. Um, what we can do is instead of outputting one F three times, we'll output slightly less. Let's try one D. Now F, as you know, is 15 in decimal. So E is 14, so D is 13. So we're actually outputting 13 now. Probably should reflect that in the comments, that D in hexadecimal is 13. Um, and let's see, I know I'm being a bit pedantic here, but it makes sense to do things properly, even though those are comments, because they follow a semicolon, so they're not actually read by the program. Let's try that. That's much better. That puts it around where I want it to be. Okay, now we need to go up. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to very quickly get it to go up, and then I think you've pretty much got the point of how this works. Right, so uh, what I'll do, in fact, is I'll copy, speed things up, that entire block, and give myself a little bit of space, and paste the block in here. Now, we need to go up. 8 is up. Okay. Um, if you're wondering where I'm getting these values, uh, 8 for up and things like that, it's all in the help file, which is in that same folder that we downloaded, the one we unzipped. It's just a little HTML document there, and it tells you all about 4 being down, 1 being to the right, 8 being up, uh, sorry, yes, 8 being up. Um, left is, I think, 2. You can see it's actually the binary digits, 1, 2, 4, 8, as we move across the columns. Uh, let's try something here. 8D. Yeah, let's try that. I think that's probably going to be doing approximately what we want it to. It's a little bit of trial and error trying to get the values right. Yeah, let's give that a try. See what that says. So now we'll step back. We've reset the maze. We're going down the maze by outputting 4F to the snake maze in steps. Now we're moving 1D into the AL General Purpose Register and then outputting that to the snake maze to move us to the right. And now we've put 8D in, which should move us up. Oh, look at that. How good is that? We certainly need a few more of those. Hang on a minute, I'm starting to enjoy doing this now. Uh, let's have a little look. Let's see what that will do. Ooh, yeah, not too bad. What we can do is we can actually run it. Yeah, we can slow down the running of it as well. So I think you can see how this is working now. We'd need to add another section, which would again move to the right to go the next, traverse the next little obstacle in the maze. That's good. Okay, so hopefully you followed what we're doing there. It's a very simple little bit of source code going in in order to control a snake around a maze. And we do this by putting values into a general purpose register and then using the out command to output those values to a specific place, in this case 04, which means the snake maze. I hope that was useful for you and we'll have a look at some other programs that we can run using the uh, CPU simulator. And see you next time.